welcome to all of you now we discuss uh, group b partial differential equation part paper cc9 2022 mathematics honors semester 4 university of calcutta group b question 2a apply charpitz method to find the complete integral of the partial differential equation bracket p plus q into bracket px plus qy into uh, bracket close equal to 1 the given equation this a identical equal to bracket p plus q into bracket px plus qy minus 1 equal to 0. Charpitz auxiliary equations are given by uh, dx by fp equal to dq by fq equal to dz by pfp plus qfq equal to dp by minus bracket fx plus pfz equal to dq by minus bracket fy plus qfz. Now, f equal to f equal to this uh, after multiplying and simplifying this p square x plus p q y plus p q x plus q square y minus 1. So, if p equal to this, f q equal to this, f x equals to this, f y equal to this, f z equal to 0, p f p plus q f q equal to this, f x plus P F J equal to this F Y plus Q F J equal to this P Q plus Q square and putting all these values in the equation 2 uh, equations 2 we get uh, D X by 2 P X plus Q into bracket X plus Y equal to D Y by twice Q Y plus P into bracket X plus Y equal to dz by 2 into bracket p plus q into bracket px plus q y equal to dp by minus p into bracket p plus q equal to dq by minus q into bracket p plus q this equation is 3. From the last two ratios of 3 that is from this and this uh, we get dp by p equal to dq by q cancel p plus q from this so and minus minus cancel so this integrating the we get uh, uh, this dp by p so log p equal to log q uh, plus log k so p equal to q k k is an arbitrary constant and from one uh, put uh, the value of p equal to kq uh, one equation one put value p equal to fq so we get kq plus q into bracket kq x plus q y equal to 1. So q square equal to this and q equal to plus minus 1 by root over of this equation 4. And p equal to k into q so plus minus k whole divided by this equation 5. Putting all these values of p and q in this equation dz equal to p dx plus q dy and p means uh, del z del x and q equal del z del, del y so uh, we get dz equal to plus minus k dx plus k dy whole divided by 2 power uh, 1 plus k into bracket k x plus y so plus minus d of uh, bracket k x plus y whole divided by 2 power 1 plus k into bracket k x plus y integrating we get uh, root over 1 plus k into z equal to plus minus 2 into root of our kx plus y plus k dash k dash be another arbitrary constants and we get after simplifying this uh, j into root of our 1 plus k plus k dash whole square uh, equal to 4 into kx plus y and this is the required complete integral of 1 where k and k dash are arbitrary constants next question question 2b form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions phi and psi from the relation u x y 
equal to y phi x plus x psi y. A given equation uh, called this is 1, say this is 1, u x y, u is a function of x y equal to y into phi x plus x into psi y. A differentiative one partially with respect to x, del del x u equal to y into phi dash x plus psi y. Differentiative one partially with respect to y, del del y u is equal to phi x, this y is 1, differentiating y with respect to y, x into phi dash y equation 3. Differentiating 3 with respect to x, partially with respect to x, del 2u del x del y equal to phi dash x plus psi dash y x is, x is 1 because partial to the respect to x and multiplying um, both sides by x y so x y del 2u del x del y equal to x y phi dash x plus x y uh, psi dash y and this equal to x into by 2 and 3 uh, this y phi dash x this means del del x u minus psi y so put this uh, y phi dash from 2 and this uh, x uh, psi dash y x psi dash y equal to from 3 so you get del del y u minus phi, dash, phi x so we get after simplifying x del del x u plus y del del y u minus u by 1 by 1 this u equal to y phi plus x i so y phi plus x i is equal to u so we get x y del u del x del y equal to x del del x u plus y del del y u minus u and this is the required partial differential equation next question 3 using the method of separation of variables solve the partial differential equation for zx z sub x x that is means del z del x uh, plus del z del y equal to 3z under the condition z equal to 3 e to the power minus y minus e to the power minus 5 y at x equal to 0. Let uh, zx z of functions x y equal to capital X x capital y y then the given partial differential equation becomes uh, this 4 capital X dash y capital Y plus capital X capital Y dash equal to 3 capital X into capital Y where capital X dash means ddx of capital X and capital Y dash means ddy of capital Y. So we get uh, this 4 capital X dash minus 3 capital X by capital X equal to minus capital Y dash by capital Y and this is equal to kc equation 1 so uh, we get this is first order differential equation and we get this 2 and 3 to first order differential equations and integrating uh, 2 we get this capital x equal to c1 e to the power k plus 3 by 4 into x so x dash means ddx x uh, equal to this so uh, d, d, dx dx uh, equal to integration of this so log x minus log c1 is equal to 3 plus k by 4 into x and so uh, x by c1 equal to e to the power k plus 3 by 4 into x and from 3 uh, d dy y minus equal to minus ky so dy by y equal to minus ky that is log y minus log c2 and we constant c2 equal to minus ky so y by c2 equal to e to the power and log y by c2 is equal to minus ky that is y by c2 equal to e to the power minus ky c2 into this so x equal to this and y equal to this now z equal to capital x into capital y so this equal to c1 into c2 e to the power k plus 3 by 4 into x into e to the power minus k into y this is 4 now it is given that z is equal to 3 into e to the power minus y minus e to the power minus phi y uh, this is the given condition x at, at x equal to 0 z is equal to this and so uh, this implies at the point z is equal to 0 
3 to the power minus y and z equal to 0 minus e to the power minus 5y we can take this and z equal to this so if we take z equal to 3 to the power minus y at x equal to 0 then from 4 we get uh, put z x equal to uh, 0 uh, m is equal to 0 x equal to 0 so put 0 here uh, 3 to the power minus y c1 c2 uh, x equal to 0 so e to the power 0 uh, e to the power minus ky uh, this z uh, 0 means uh, z at the point x equal to 0 z 0 means z at the point x equal to 0 so c1 c2 equal to 3 and k equal to 1 k equal to 1 and comparing these both sides so this 3 left hand side and right hand side c1 c2 so c1 c2 equal to 3 and e to the power minus y so e to the power minus k y so obviously k equal to 1 comparing both sides so uh, z equal to z equal to c1 c2 equal to 3 and e to the power uh, k equal to 1 so 1 plus 3 equal to 4 so 4 by 4 cancel so e to the power x minus k equal to 1 e to the power uh, minus y so 3 e to the power minus x minus y if we take z equal to minus e to the power minus 5y at x equal to 0 uh, then from 4 uh, this minus e to the power minus 5y equal to c1 c2 e to the power 0 e to the power minus ky that is c1 c2 equal to comparing both sides c1 is equal to minus 1 and k equal to 5 hence z equal to minus e to the power minus e to the power 2x minus 5y 6 adding uh, 5 and 6 uh, that is the super uh, position principle adding adding this this we get z equal to uh, 3 e to the power x minus y uh, minus uh, e to the power 2x minus 5y and this is the required answer as the partial differential equation is linear and homogeneous a linear combination of the two solutions x1 capital 1 plus capital x2 capital y2 is also a solution even though our assumed solution is of the form capital x capital y and uh, this is the principle of superposition that is sum of constant multiples of solution of the homogeneous linear partial differential equation is also a solution of the partial equation so we can write this and, and this is the important step uh, this z is equal to 3 to the power minus y minus to the power minus 5y at x equal to 0 so we can break by this superposition principle and z at the point x equal to 0 is this and z at the point x equal to 0 minus e to the power minus 5y Next question 4. Using eta equal to x plus y as one of the transformation variable, obtain the canonical form uh, of this del 2u del x square minus 2 del 2u del x del y plus del 2u del y square equal to 0 and hence solve it. Comparing mm, the given equation 1 uh, with uh, a uh, del 2 del x square plus b del 2 del x del y plus c del 2 del y square plus a we get a equal to 1 b equal to minus 2 c equal to 1 so discriminant is b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 so the given partial differential is, is a parabolic type now the lambda quadratic equation a lambda square plus b lambda plus c equal to 0 reduces to this lambda equal to 1 and 1 2 equal roots 1 1 corresponding characteristic equation is d, d dy dx plus lambda equal to 0 so dy dx plus 1 equal to 0 that is integrating we get y plus x equal to c c being arbitrary constant choose eta equal to x plus y uh, it is given um, in the question eta equal to x plus y and we choose eta and uh, sorry xi equal to x minus y eta equal to x plus y and j equal to x minus y as a new variable which is independent uh, because uh, verified by Jacobian of this j uh, and eta uh, del j uh, eta by del x y that is del j del x del j del y del eta del x del eta del y uh, so so it is, it is very important to choose this j uh, so that this Jacobian is not equal to 0 uh, for j and eta thus we have two families of characteristics j equal to x minus y and it equal to x plus y then uh, del j del x del j del y equal to minus 1 del eta del x equal to 1 from this del eta del y equal to 1 
now p equal to del u del x equal to del u del i into del i del x plus del u del eta del eta del x that is equal to uh, put del i del x and del eta del x del i del x is 1 and del eta del x is 1 so we get p equal to this and similarly q equal to this uh, therefore uh, this del del x operator is this identically equal to del del i plus del del eta and del del y operator identically equal to minus del del i plus del del u eta this is equation 4 and r equal to notice on r equal to identically equal to del u del x square so del del x del u del x this del del x is the operator del del i plus del del eta from this and del u del x so this del u del x del u del i plus del u del eta by 4 so we get del del i del u del i plus del u del eta plus del del eta del u del i plus del u del eta so del 2 u del i square plus 2 del 2 u del i del eta assuming here this two mixed order parcel additives equal and plus del 2 u del eta square and t is the notation identical to del 2 u del y square that is del del y del u del y and this del del y means this minus del del i plus del del eta so put this and del u del eta means this minus del u del i plus del u del eta so after simplification we get and assuming this two mixed order parcel is equality of these two mixed order, mixed order parcel derivatives we get del t u del i square minus two del t u del i del eta plus del t u del eta square and s equals to notice on s equal identically equal to del t u del x del y so we get minus del t u del i square plus del t u del eta square using uh, these r s t and from one uh, equation given equation this uh, this uh, this r minus 2s plus t so we get uh, this um, r is this r is this so del u del i square plus twice del u del i del eta plus del u del eta square uh, minus 2 into uh, this uh, del u del x square so this minus del u del i square plus del u del eta square and plus and t del u del i square this del u del i square plus uh, del u del eta square minus twice del 2u by del i del eta cancel these terms minus 2 and 2 so we get and this term and this term is cancelled so we get 2 into del u del i square equal to 0 that is del 2u del i square this is the required canonical form of the given partial differential equation integrating uh, 5 we get uh, this del u del i equal to phi eta uh, and phi is an arbitrary function this again integrating uh, this u equal to integration phi eta dj plus psi eta psi also another arbitrary function so this equal to j uh, phi eta plus psi eta u equal to x minus y this uh, because phi is constant uh, integration only j uh, so j equal to x minus y and eta equal to x plus y so we get u equal to x, x minus y into phi into x plus y plus psi into x plus y by 2 this is the required solution phi and psi are arbitrary functions next question question 5 a tightly stretched string of length l with fixed end points is initially at rest in its equilibrium position and each of its points is given by given a velocity v which is given by vx equal to cx 0 less than equal to x less than l by 2 and vx equal to c into l minus x l by 2 less than equal to x less than equal to l find the displacement c being the wave speed Here, wave equation uh, del u del t square equal to a square del u del x square a is the uh, wave speed. From the given problem, we have the following boundary and initial conditions. The boundary conditions uh, y0t equal to 0 for all t greater than equal to 0. 
and y l t equal to 0 for all t greater than equal to 0 this at uh, this initially at rest in the position uh, rest equilibrium at each point in velocity b and this velocity b is the initial condition at this point t equal to 0 x 0 del y del t this is equal to this given and y x 0 equals to uh, string initially rest the equilibrium point at this point and y x equal to 0 uh, so uh, we get this boundary condition and initial conditions at these points now suitable solution which satisfies our boundary and initial conditions given by y is equal to capital x into capital t and this is equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into bracket c3 cos pat plus c4 sin pat i assume here is the wave speed c1 c2 r c3 r c4 are arbitrary functions constants sorry constants and boundary condition of 1 gives that is y 0 t equal to 0 so put x equal to 0 here so x equal to 0 sin 0 0 so cos c1 cos 0 1 c1 into bracket c3 cos pat plus c4 sin pat this because uh, this uh, term is not equal to 0 and it is defined for all t so c1 must be equal to 0 and then from 2 we get y is equal to c2 sin px into bracket c3 cos pt pat plus c4 sin pat equation 3 boundary condition 3 boundary condition 3 uh, boundary condition uh, sorry boundary condition 2 uh, applying in 3 we get this y y l t equal to 0 y l t equal to 0 so c2 sin pl into bracket c3 cos pat plus c4 sin pat equal to 0 and this this term c3 cos plus c4 sin not equal to 0 as it is defined for all t so c2 sin pl must be equal to 0 but c2 not equal to 0 because otherwise this solution is trivial solution so sin pl equal to 0 so sin pl equal to 0 means pl equal to n pi that is n uh, belongs to z actually n uh, equal to 1 2 3 4 uh, this so uh, p equal to n pi by l n belongs to set of all integers z and putting these values of p in 3 we get c2 sin n pi x by l into bracket c3 cos n pi a t by l plus c4 sin n pi a t by l initial conditions 3 applying the equation 4 so y x 0 equal to 0 is equal to put t equal to 0 so this cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 0 so this c3 and this <coughs> and c2 c3 into sin n pi x by l and here sin n pi x by l not equal to 0 add is defined for all x also c2 not equal to 0 so c3 must be equal to 0 so given equation this equation reduces to y x t equal to uh, c2 sin n by x by l into c4 sin n by a t by l because c3 equal to 0 so put here c3 equal to 0 in 4 so we can write uh, this cn c2 into c4 equal to cn cn sin n by x l by l sin n by a t by l hence by the general hence the general solution by superposition principle y x t equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity c n sin n by x by l sin n by a t by l equation 5 and differentiate 5 with partial with respect to t we get del y del t equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity c n into bracket uh, n pi a l sin n by x by l into cos n by a t by l using the initial condition uh, last initial condition for del y del t at the point x equal to 0 this c x if 0 less than equal to x less than equal to l by 2 c l minus x if l by 2 less than equal to x less than equal to l so uh, this summation this equal to this uh, by the given condition so we get uh, this bn called bn cn into n pi a by l called bn summation bn sin n pi x equal to this calculation for bn 
expand fx in a half range Fourier sinus ridge in the open interval 0 to L, fx equals to cx and 0 less than equal to x less than equal to L by 2 and c L minus x when L by 2 less than equal to x less than equal to L and this equal to summation bn sin n pi x by L where bn equal to 2 by L integration 0 to L fx sin n pi x by L dx and from 7 and 8 we get small bn equal to capital bn and bn equal to capital bn equal to 2 by l integration 0 to l by 2 cx sin n pi x dx by l uh, plus integration l by 2 in to l c into bracket l minus x into sin n pi x by l into dx so <coughs> uh, this is the first function and this is the second function by parts integration uh, we get this and from this sine function is second function and this function is first function and for this by first integration we get this and after simplification uh, we get this 4 l c by n square into pi square sine n pi by 2 and therefore c n equal to b n into l by n pi into a and because this uh, b n equal to c n n pi a by l so b n equal to this uh, from this c n equal to b n into l l by n by a into this and b n equal to this so after simplification c n equal to this hence from 5 equation 5 and this y x t is equal to summation n equal to 1 to c n sin n pi x by l sin n pi a t by l and the value of c n uh, putting the value of c n we get this is the value of c n and this 4 c l cube l square by a pi q uh, not depends on n so taking outside the summation uh, this 1 by n sin n pi by 2 sin n pi x by l sin n pi a t by l and this is the required displacement and required solution of this given equation given uh, problem Next question, question 6, solve the following initial boundary value problem u t equal to u x x 0 less than x less than lambda t greater than 0 subject to the co condition u x 0 equal to 3 sin n pi x n is a positive integer u 0 t equal to u lambda t equal to 0. Given partial differential equation as uh, this del u del t equal to del 2 u del x square 0 less than x 0 less than lambda t greater than 0 and by the separation of separation of variable uh, set u equal to capital X into capital T then 1 becomes x t dash equal to x double dash t that is x double dash by x equal to t dash by t equal to kc. We get uh, two, for, uh, two uh, ordinary differential equation. This is the first second order differential equation. This is the first order differential equation we get. Uh, this double less means the d dx and t two x d dx square and this d capital T dt. Four and for k equal to zero, if k equal to c square, um, we get uh, this uh, no solution for this case. So k equal to c square from 4 uh, we get uxt uxt equal to a1 e to the power root over kx plus a2 e to the power minus root over kx into a3 into kt uh, because the solution and uh, this x equal to this t is equal to this so t equal to uh, this c e to the power kt so this a3 e to the power kt and for this uh, plus minus k root k so a1 e to the power uh, root kx plus a2 e to the power minus root kx a1 a3 a2 are arbitrary constants and boundary conditions u0 t equal to 0 so a1 plus a2 equal to 0 u lambda t equal to 0 so a1 e to the power minus uh, e to the power root k lambda plus a2 e to the power minus root k lambda equal to 0 e to the power kt not equal to 0 and for non-trivial solution of this uh, system uh, we must have this uh, this 
uh, to solve this a1 a2 this coefficient 1 1 e to the power uh, root over k lambda e to the power minus root over k into lambda this is equal to 0 so we get k must be equal to 0 but we choose here k greater than 0 so uh, this uh, no solution in this case and for k equal to 0 we get from 4 u is solution ax plus b and this uh, a equal to 0 so uh, this is the impossible case only the possible case is k is negative so put k equal to minus c square say so uh, if we put the general solution of this equation uxt equal to a1 c cos c cos cx plus b1 sin cx into a2 to the power minus c square t uh, because here we put k equal to minus c square k equal to minus c square so put here k equal to minus c square so x double less plus c square into x equal to 0 t dash plus c square t equal to 0 so uh, we solve this uh, this m equal to plus minus uh, ic so uh, constant cos plus some constant into sine into c c into x and this c square t so t equal to integrating we get this t equal to this a2 to the power minus c square t boundary conditions u0 to equal to 0 so from this we get a1 equal to 0 and because u2 not equal to 0 and u to the power minus c square t also not equal to 0 and u lambda t equal to 0 uh, gives this a1 equal to 0 so uh, we get b1 sin c x x is lambda so b1 sin c lambda uh, equal to 0 because uh, this not equal to 0 but b1 not equal to 0 if b1 equal to 0 then e1 already 0 then b1 equal to 0 then this is the uh, uh, trivial solution for this a1 0 b1 0 so this is 0 uh, so sin c lambda equal to 0 this implies c lambda equal to m pi for m equal to 1 2 3 and so on so c equal to m pi by lambda from 7 we get uxt equal to b1 sin m pi x by lambda into a2 e to the power minus m square pi square t by lambda square we put here c equal to m pi by lambda and this c square so m square pi square by lambda square where cm b1 into a2 equal to cm say cm uh, this cm b1 into a2 are pretty constants uh, this m equal to 1 2 3 and so this by superposition principle the solution of 1 is given by ux t equal to summation m equal to 1 to infinity cm sin m pi x by lambda e to the power into e to the power minus m square pi square by lambda square into t equation 8 using initial conditions ux 0 equal to 3 sin n pi x so c 3 sin m n pi x equal to uh, this a t equal to 0 so t equal to 0 put here so summation cm sin m pi x by lambda and this is an identity so this expanding this m equal to 1 m equal to 2 so we get um, m equal to 1 sin uh, c1 sin in m, m pi x so comparing this c1 equal to 3 and 1 by lambda equal to n 1 by lambda equal to n and so because uh, m equal to 1 so 1 by lambda equal to n so lambda equal to 1 by n n is a positive integer and all other constants c2 c3 c4 are all zero uh, only one term here uh, from comparing with this and the solution of the initial boundary uh, value problem and uh, this uxt equal to uh, 3 sin n pi x e to the power minus n square pi square t n is a positive integer and and this is the answer this completes the group b group, group b uh, 2022 partial differential equation part thank you for watching this video